So before we start talking about new builds and new build apartments, I just thought I'd ask you, Pomp, what you're most looking forward to in Paris this weekend. Everything, Jess. Oh, are the you? Christmas markets, Eiffel Tower. You got your hands. Arc de Triomphe, and we're going to the Moulin Rouge on Saturday night. Moulin is... Rouge, I can't wait. Have, Have you been? been? Yeah, I've been. Yeah. Oh wow! It's amazing. It's amazing. It's not what cool. you think it is, though. Is it not? It's not like the movie, or like, have you watched the film? I think I have. You must have. That's a good Who's film. in that? Is it quite not... Was no, it Kylie Minogue? Minogue? I don't know in Burlesque. Kylie Minogue, show me age. I have no idea. I, I don't know. Do you know who Kylie Minogue is? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm too young. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You I'm do joking, you okay, yeah. thank goodness. Yeah. It's yeah. not like all. Si- it's like different shows in one show, basically. Is it? Yeah, and when I went, there was and even like an underwater bit. How, how long ago? Did you when go? I was 21, so like... Oh, like last oh. year? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, like nine years ago, eight years ago. Oh, right, so it might have, yeah. It's probably even... Is it like the, the red light district down there as well? Mm. Is it all kind of uh, risque? I mean, risque. <laughs> I feel like I need to come along what, this weekend. Do you, need, do you need your tassels? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do I need to dress up? <laughs> and your feather boa? <laughs> no, you're fine. Oh. You just can't wear trainers, I don't think. Oh. Oh, okay. Just smart right. shoes. Making note of that. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Alice? I think I'm actually working. So, oh, you know, I'm sorry. Pre Christmas yeah. working, getting ready to go. <laughs> Busy diary? Um, yeah, I think so. A few good appointments booked in, so we shall see what happens. Good. So, start with you, Paul. Do mm. you think. Um, oh, buying... just before we do, oh, yeah. I bought you a present. Because <laughs> 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 you don't realise that the only. You don't realise the only podcasts I ever watch are Carp Fishing podcasts. S- Oh no! And they have You've millions not bought, of views. Like, yeah. No, no, no. So I thought what they do is they always bring a uh, like something to do with their fishing. <laughs> so I I bought you a hard hat, <laughs> and this was the first company that I ever dealt with twenty years ago. Yeah, and you're still dealing with them now. And I'm still dealing with them now. Well, what good and you got to wear it. And go. I thought it was kind of too twofold, oh, it really. Fits well, I thought nice you could wear it if you ever go on a new build site, but yeah. also. If your kids ever chuck stuff at you, or Josh. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, hold on a second. I just put my hard hat on. Yeah. Go for it. Hmm. Looks fitting. I'm the target. Yeah. Thanks so much. That's all right. It's, 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 it's good. Sorry, man. So I didn't kind. get it. Oh, that's fine, mate. I see how this relationship's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a problem. So, do you think buying a new build's a good investment? I think potentially it is, yeah, it is like uh, any kind of second hand home or, or new build, um, depending on the time of year um, and the market. But Predominantly, people like new builds because mm. they're all brand new. Yeah. And you haven't got to do anything to them. Like, you bought a new build. Yeah. We're busy people. Yeah. You don't... It's all just done, isn't it? Yeah. And I think as, li- as long as you buy in the right area and also you look after it, most people, what do they do? Move three to five years? Yeah. Three yeah. to five years? Yeah, yeah about that. I so reckon that'll be us. In- your kitchen doesn't need redoing. Your bathrooms are still nice. So yeah. as an investment, I think it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, I like as well because you, they are everything's done, but you can kind of make them what you want. Like yeah. with the gardens and stuff like that, if that's not been done or yeah. decorated, it's like a blank decor- canvas yeah. because although they're white or most of them are white now or light grey, aren't yeah. they? But um, uh, yeah, you can do your feature walls or you can, and depending on when you buy a new build, if you get in early enough, you can choose your kitchens and your bathrooms yeah. and. Um, yeah, bespoke it a little bit, can you? Yeah, and what about with um, new build apartments, Alice? Yeah, same again. I think, especially from a first-time buyer's perspective, with uh, cost of living and things like that, it just makes sense for them to buy it. Um, they can just move straight in. They've got nothing to do. And have you found that the um, charges are different now? Because I know. Was, isn't there a limit of what they're allowed to charge so maintenance-wise? Service or? charge. There's still not a physical cap, as far as I'm aware, as of yet. But there is no ground rent on new builds now. Oh, that's so good. They've okay. abolished the ground rent law, so there's no more ground rent on any apartment. There's a load of problems with um, well, a couple of the major PLC developers. Actually, they they got in a lot of trouble about their lease agreements. Ah, okay. Um, on, on special they were boards. always like quite difficult to get through, weren't they? <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, we, we we've had it all uh, <laughs> this year, especially with uh, EWS one form issues. Yeah. Now it's moved over to deed of variation issues, so there's no specific lenders that will lend against certain blocks. Um, so yeah, it's definitely um, a challenge. We're finding that a lot of um, developers are uh, converting. The, the the office blocks into new builds yeah mm-hmm. into new build apart you know a lot of conversions yeah yeah it makes sense a lot of um, new builds and conversions going on we're doing quite a bit together aren't we for yeah the, we are yeah we've got some and, uh, um, the conversions I suppose right. for first time buyers and for investors they're and I guess first time investors they're a quite a good place to start aren't they 
Yeah, I think so. Um, especially when you look at the average two-bed house in, in Swindon now. Yeah, so the apartments are substantially funny. less. Um, like you say, deposit-wise, with a 5% deposit, you can obviously get something a lot cheaper, ready to move straight into. So yeah. As long as we can provide a, uh, a kind of yeah 5 to 7% yield, yeah. I think um, we investors are quite happy. You're not going to get that in the bank at the moment, are you? No. That's the with interest thing. rates and things. Do you think um, the sale of them has become more difficult since new builds and new build apartments since they abolished hub to buy? From the new build side and the developers we're dealing with, we're just seeing the tail end of that now. So I think the real kind of looking at it next year will come into its how it's affected yeah fine. because we're just we're just finishing that yeah. process off and i think they've got up till next march to actually yeah, complete. complete yeah but the new build um the developers um you know they they've the the, the change in the market has definitely had an impact into their sales rates yeah. over the last sort of three to six months yeah absolutely and yeah it's going to be interesting next year yeah, How, if if there's any deals there, if they, you know, some of our developers are doing part exchange now, yeah, and fine. they they weren't doing that before twelve months ago, yeah, because they didn't have to. And are they still? Do you still find that there are offerings of like stamp duty paid or upgrades that they chuck it? Is there still like yeah, an amount I, that they're prepared to chuck in? I get to that. Do a deal I ask, or? Yeah, I I think <laughs> I know it's a bit of a sit on the fence answer, but I really it depends on the development. Yeah. The the developer and what they've sold. Yeah, fine. you just got to pick. If you go in the right time, yeah, as well. And their financial year ends are normally June and December. Yeah, fine. they're half yearly in December. So if you go in in October, and this is from personal experience, mm. we actually got a better deal. The market was a little bit tricky, and they wanted a completion before December, and their sales rates were down a little bit. So we managed to. Um, secure stamp duty, flooring, yeah, um, turf, blah blah blah. But as the market's changing, next year we'll we won't. You know what it's like. Just developers don't like to give things away. No. Um, no. But you've just got to play hard. You know, did you get anything from you when you bought Red Row? I think we had our stamp duty paid, mm. but at the time it wasn't. That was it. Wasn't our stamp duty wasn't loads. Yeah. And we got um like our flooring and upgraded flooring, stuff like that. Mm. Outside tap. So you got something. We did, yeah, we did get yeah, something. Yeah. Outside yeah. tap. Lovely. Outside, that was useful to be <laughs> yeah. a bonus. Yeah. 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 People <laughs> people just assume right, right. people just assume them a daily shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, dog, yeah. But people assume it's there. Yeah, yeah they do, yeah. It's like, oh have you got two outside lights? No, you don't get outside lights. No. It's like it's things you bonus, think. Isn't it? So. it was the other th the thing we actually really wanted was um, a door put in the side of the garage from the garden. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and they weren't <laughs> they weren't prepared to do it. They offered it to us for a ridiculous amount of money. Probably about two and a half grand or something. It, well, at the time it was about eighteen hundred. Yeah, it yeah, just yeah. Like, it's just crazy. Door. I think they charged us because um, we've got an internal from the hallway to the to the garage. Yeah, and luckily, oh, of course, yeah, luckily they put it in before. We actually did the yeah. deal, so luckily they, you know. They were quite good with us, to be fair, because ours, um, somebody was buying it and then they pulled out. Hmm. So they had chosen the kitchen and stuff like that, so we weren't able to change any of those things, which we probably would have on reflection, but yeah. absolutely it's exactly the same with us. We, um, the kitchen was in. But they so. were really good with other things, yeah, and I think as we were able to exchange and we'd moved out of Stafford Street and moved in with my mum, so hmm. we were then chain free as well. They loved that. Yeah. Because they sort of, I suppose, that makes them feel a bit more comfortable that it's going to go through, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's um, yeah, and I think uh, it, it, I just love the fact that you haven't got to do anything. Yeah, we're all busy people, aren't we? We've got busy lives, and yeah, I think that's the bonus um, from them, isn't it? And I'm not into kitchen. I can't, you know, I couldn't fit no. a kitchen or a bathroom. Or I'm not a bad painter. I can, I can get <laughs> a bloody. Your get, house get, painted. I can get. To be fair. Well, to be fair, that's not me though. That's not me, though, is it? That's <laughs> <not> me, <laughs> is it? That's, uh, I wish I could take some credit for that. But I can uh, honestly say that I I don't think I did any painting. Um, but yeah, when you've got a partner that's great with the interior awesome, design, yeah. yes, and creative, then it, it, living yeah, dream. I go fi I go fishing. Sit back and watch the magic happen. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, Ellis, yes. obviously I know sometimes there are difficulties conveyancing-wise with apartments, but do you find mortgage offers are given, that, that process is quite straightforward? Yeah, I think so. In terms so. of like, getting the offer agreed to get a mortgage offer. Yeah, I think as long as they've got a healthy deposit, 
Yeah. Um, and like you say, it's a new, especially on a new build apartment, it's a sale, easy, straightforward. Yeah, because like, they're all up to regs. They absolutely. all fit, cover, you know, an HPC covers yeah. it and all of it's that. It's more the conversions, like we said, that we can find difficulties with because of the structure and things like that. Yeah. So there is any specific lenders mm. out there that will lend. Hence why we obviously refer to self mortgages um, to, to help them get it through. But yeah, I think all in all, yes, it's quite a straightforward process. I mean, the deed of variation is something that's come up lately, yeah. um, which can make it difficult. Um, and that's just in regards to the ground rent and things like that. So, yeah. It's, but um, they do end up always going, they're just more... Just takes longer. More yeah. Takes yeah, like longer. the average house sale uh, compared to an apartment. You know, apartments are sometimes two or three months behind. But ultimately, yeah. there's... 10 times more paperwork yeah yeah, yeah, we, yeah we we try and with all the developers we work with whether it's a plc or a, a local or a regional mm -hmm. we we always try and get them to do a really comprehensive legal pack obviously the plcs have all those done yeah but with a low say you're building five or ten units and they don't really yeah you know, they're builders rather than developers that we we just get a, a lawyer in place so you can get a really comprehensive contract pack because they still want to 28 days six weeks mm. eight weeks yeah fine. but as long as you've got to the 28 days and you've done something your purchaser has done something mm. then the developer is normally happy if you get to 28 days and you haven't done your mortgage yeah um, vow or your mortgage. searches are paid and yeah. you're you know then you're in trouble and they quite rightly to take the contract pack and yeah, fine. say we'll sell the plot to somebody else and um, um, by way of the cost of living crisis at the moment new builds I suppose are more energy efficient now you would think so and you would hope so. Yeah. The um, obviously back house have got all got electric chargers with theirs, which yeah. is great. Yeah. So if it's you really good start. yeah, and I think that's going to be really beneficial to their their sales rate and their saleability. And I and I think moving into next year with these these problems everyone has, air source heat pumps. Yeah. Um, and and the insulation that they're putting into the the properties. If you have a wood burner, um, and which they do, and mm -hmm. they've got um, extra efficient windows and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and things and yeah electric yeah so it all helps and when you can buy that you might pay a little bit more but actually with a back house product they're architecturally kind of designed with floor to ceiling windows nine yeah. foot ceilings wood burners charging points they're a little bit different yeah as, as if you were to go to yeah, a bit more like persimmon or yeah, as well, yeah. I suppose. And there is yeah. a market for another PLC because it will come down to price point and affordability. Yeah. So, you know, a, a young couple, first time buyer, might go and buy a two bed at, you know, Badbury Park for persimmon. And it's um it's their dream home. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, yeah, no, absolutely. And are you um do you find typically that new investors tend to go for newer apartments? Because um, it's sort of, I suppose, a more comfortable way into that. Yeah, I mean, truthfully, I'd probably say we see a lot more investors on second-hand stock because it's cheaper. Fine. Um, so obviously mm -hmm. their yield is going to be slightly higher. In a second-hand apartments yeah. as opposed to houses, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because like you say, the, the normal price is cheaper than a new build apartment at the moment in time. Um, and obviously they can buy it with tenant in situ. That's another yeah, bonus fine. for them. So from day one, it's already yeah, making it's an covered. income. Yeah. Um, so it just makes sense from them. But yeah, there is investors out there that will buy new builds. Yeah. But as we want to invest, so our probably ones. a little bit more first-time buyer specific, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It or someone needing a second and home bolt hole. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And, and downsize. Yeah, and also on the new build um, houses front, rather than in apartments, we've done schemes where we've done a leaseback scheme on the show home. Yeah. So they buy the show home, and they we've got eight percent on that, mm. so guaranteed eight percent for two years. Yeah, that's mad. And you don't have to rent it out to anyone. So all you've got. And at the end of the two two years, yeah, the, you've got good. a brand new home, fully furnished, yeah, to do whatever you want, yeah. with, basically. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's attractive to. Yeah. yeah. We've yeah. done a few Absolutely. deals like that because that is like furnished. Normally they sell them with everything in as mm. well, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah I had really. a client a few years ago that bought a new build in Shrivenham, mm. and they bought the show home, and they literally left all their stuff in their yeah. old house and just <laughs> moved yeah. in. Yeah, all so like the soft furnishings, like yeah. the cushions, the pictures on the wall, yeah, they left lovely. everything. Yeah. <laughs> that would be, that's the dream. Dream. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really like so no removals, it. nothing, you just, just walk in own. and dump yeah. stuff. No, it's yeah. perfect, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, really um, good. So top tips for anyone thinking of buying a new build pump. Top tips. Good question. Um, do your research. Mm. Look at the development. Yeah. How long the, the plots have been on. Because if you want to try and get a deal, um, 
you know, if a plot's been on for eight weeks and they haven't sold it, they might do a better deal. Yeah. Plus time of year mm -hmm. with their end of financial year. Um, also, the kind of the snagging as well. I, I, I quite make sure you snag it properly. Yeah. And make sure you take enough time to go around two or three times after they've said they've snagged it to triple check. Triple check. And I'm always one for. Um, uh, Turning all the taps on, the baths, yeah. showers, knocking on the walls, yeah, yeah, make sure it. they still for stand. like twenty, min 20 minutes, <laughs> yeah. and then go back two I days later. Check it again. Two sure days later, still there. I've had clients. I've had clients. I've had clients say to me, you know, Chris, I'm so glad you told us to do that because we went yeah. back two days later and the ceilings come through. Yeah, all well, these smacked something. Yeah. And if they hadn't done it, they would have been in over Christmas or whatever. Yeah, and, yeah, fine. That makes sense. Yeah, so <laughs> do, do a comprehensive snagging. Run snag the water in. for ages. Yeah. Yeah. Have a bath, every shower. Every tap. Yeah. Give, it, give it a test out. Do a comp and, then, and also shop around for your mortgage product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, because um, there's some good deals out there for new builds. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. And just take your time. Um, look at other, you know, sometimes you can not play one development against another, but at least one's offering you this. and then Yeah, you, go back to the other yeah, one that you prefer maybe yeah. and try and negotiate something a bit yeah. better. Yeah. And what about for new build apartments? Are those top tips? Um, yeah, I think speak to a broker. Yeah. Uh, double check the lease. Yeah. If it's too cheap, there could be a problem with it. Always triple check it. <laughs> um, mm. I think that's probably about it, really. Yeah, good. That's what I can think of. Um, and last question for both of you: Do you would you have pineapple on your pizza? Absolutely not. And would you put chocolate in the fridge or out the fridge pump? Um, pineapple definitely on pizza. Yeah, good and, choice. I and, agree with that. And no. Weirdo, yeah. Alice. I'm sorry. That's Hawaiian. Like that's my rules. Hawaiian. Right. Hawaiian. No. That's my favourite. To be yeah. fair. So. Ooh. What's your favourite pizza? Don't you like the zestiness of the pineapple? Yeah, like, I do, yeah. The savoury No, because it actually gives me ulcers. <laughs> so that's why I can't have them. Oh, yeah, right. What, stomach ulcers? No, 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 mouth <laughs> ulcers. Mouth ulcers. True well, story. you're like allergic. I don't know what it is, but every time mm. I have them... Yeah. And They're too it, spicy for you. It is, yeah. So I've got to go for like a pepperoni. Nice classic. and basic. Classic. Nice little classic. classic. Well done, well done. Um, chocolate... Probably out, well, probably out of the fridge. I would say outside as well, personally. Oh. I don't eat, I'll be honest, I don't eat a lot of chocolate. I'm not sure I believe you. No, I don't. I'm not <laughs> a sweet, I'm not, I'm, I'm more of a yeah. savoury oh, guy. Okay. Bag of, bag of crisps, oh, got, gone in seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Which flavour? Favourite crisps ever? Uh, it's probably, well, well, favourite bacon frazzles. Oh my oh. God, great choice. But I haven't had them for about a year because they give me ulcers. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. I was going to say that. Very strange. What about you? Favourite crisps? Favourite crisp? Uh, salt and vinegar Pringles. Oh, great. Yeah. I think. They yeah. must give you ulcers. No, do you know what? They don't. They get rid of them because of the salt, see? Oh, what? Nice. So when you eat pineapple, do you then eat salt to like... Yeah, balance it out. The ulcers. Yeah, you just balancing. got cheese and pineapple stick thing. Yeah. Cocktail yeah, sticks. And then, and then Pringles. A bit of salt. That's Chris, it. That's Christmas so is sorted. It. It. Yeah, it's one of those things. That must be like because it's like so zesty that your yeah, mouth is like same no, I can't with, hack it. Same, I must feel like this isn't a bit off topic. But <laughs> yeah. Same with orange juice, <laughs> yeah. pure orange juice. Can't drink that. Which one? Pure orange juice. Oh yeah, yeah. This is it's the acidity. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. What it it's be. Yeah. To be fair, if I drink. Hey, you should have one of my shakes in the morning. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what I need. <laughs> Followed that, by pineapple, just yeah. to test well, it. Well, you could put pineapple. You could put pineapple in it. Oh no, absolutely. All the spirulina and the protein powder. Yeah, that's probably the good thing. But ultimately, yeah. Yeah. I can't have it. Oh, well, that was really good. Perfect. Thanks for talking to us about new build houses and apartments and crisps and pineapple. Well, thanks for having us. Thanks, uh, for having us on. thanks so much for my present. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, I'm going to wear you it all winter. That, you need that back, don't you, actually? No. no. <laughs>